and then there was fire. And with fire came with power. So hello fellow cultivators. This is a tutorial video for fire builds in the game Tear of Immortal. And this is the third tutorial video in this series. I've made one video about lightning and one about finger. And you can find the link of this this tutorial videos in the descriptions. And today I'm talking about fire views. So fire is, you can say, the most important and the most powerful element in this game. And it can make everything else 10 times better. And this is not an exaggeration, it is an understatement. So actually, fire makes everything not only 10 times better. So you can probably find quite some videos on my channel, just showcase videos like Fire Sword, Fire Fist, Fire Palm, Fire Finger, and just simply Fire Views. And you can see that I'm mostly just using those, you know, special skills. For example, um, I can use a, a Fist build with Fist uh, Martial Skill and Fist Special Skill. And as long as I'm still running the Fire Motion Skill, Fire ultimate plus some fire man's mind skill especially secret menu i will explain later it just makes a standard fist build better that's how fire works and so in this video i will first explain to you how to make a fire build you know just the three set motion skill ultimate and mind skill and why that fire build makes everything else better without using the spiritual and special skills and then I will just introduce you several different let's say, special skills and different ways of playing a pure fire build. To be honest, this might not even be necessary because from my fire build showcase, you can see that I'm using all six different type of special skills and the difference between them are very little. So as long as you know how to build a fire build with the correct mind skill, it doesn't matter which special skill you choose. And then I will briefly introduce some special effect, or uh, the set effect, once you reach, uh, reach Transcendent. And I will also talk about what limits fire build's power. So let's start. So let me first switch back to the proper, some kind of fire, fire skills. Okay, to start, what makes fire powerful is totally in fire uh, secret menu. Just to say it again, secret menu, basically spiritual resistance menu. But for each different element, you have different special effects, and those special effects are more powerful compared to spiritual resistance. And with fire secret menu, you need to look for this one sub skill, which here is showing in the very end, the 12th one, highlighting red. For every fairy flame generated, your damage will be increased by 8% for 5 seconds. So, Fairy Flame, yeah, that is the key. That is literally the key of Fire Builds. You need to generate a lot of Fairy Flames on the ground, and each of them will boost your damage by 8%. And a simple calculation will tell you that if you have 20-ish Fairy Flames on the ground, you will do 5 times more damage. If you have around 40, Fairy Flames on the ground, you will do 80 times more damage compared to your original one. And 20 and 40 are very easy to generate. You can do that within a few seconds. And if another important thing about Fire Builds is that it says that this damage boost lasts for 5 seconds, but every time you reapply, a, you, you regenerate a Fairy Flame, and this will make the counting, the 5 second counting start from the beginning and you will just have more fairy flames on the ground so basically, let's say you you are generating fairy flame with your motion skill and if you cast it again and generate more fairy flame on the ground within 5 seconds you will have more fairy flames and your this 5 seconds timing will start, start recounting from zero so basically your damage is just boosted more and more you can have much more fairy flames on the ground, and if you have 100 on the ground, you will do 2,000 times more damage compared to the original one. And but this can be done, but not be. I can't do it, but not because my I'm not making the correct build. 
but simply because my computer performance is not good enough. And I will show that later. But for now, I'm just telling you that from what I see from the videos, what I see from the Chinese community, you can one shot the three mortals at chaos, in chaos at the highest difficulty, or you can one shot, you know, 50, uh, level 50 swan yu if you use a sword immortal's um, heavenly skill with enough fairy slams on the ground. It is that crazy and powerful. So you need to have this one sub skills within your secret menu. And that, to be honest, that one is enough. Everything else is useful, but not that important. That's why, so for example, there are something here in the orange ones. So Scorch Max stacks, Burning Souls duration. For every stack Scorch, you increase your Fairy Flame damage. You, for every stack Burning Soul, increase the Fairy Flame damage. This all looks okay, but you don't really need them because Fairy Flames, you don't care about the damage. You care, what you care is the number of Fairy Flame, which amplifies your other damage. So that is the most important thing, Fire Secret Manning. And but you can see that also means that even though I said fire makes everything work, but it won't work with, for example, lightning build. Because for lightning build, you need lightning secret menu. So, yeah, that's it. Now, second question. How to create fairy flames? The answer is in the motion skill. So, again, look at red sub skills. The last one. So, fire motion skill will summon seven fire fox. Well, I mean, the seven number change with your realm and but when the firefox disappears it can generate uh, fairy flames on the ground that's how you create fairy flames and also you can increase the number of firefox summoned by this motion skill by 15 and 7 plus 15 that's 22 firefox so that's why i said if you have 20 ish fairy flames on the ground you do five times more damage basically you just use your motion skill generate a 22 very flames on the ground. Now, boom, you're damaged five times higher. It is that simple. And another thing you can use is Fire Phonics, your ultimate. Again, this will generate fairy flames on the ground. It generates around 20 fairy flames, or maybe 19, if I recall correctly. And what, so basically, that's why I said 40 again, because that's basically 40. So 20 from the ultimate, 20 from your, you know, motion skill, add it together, 40, 40 fairy flames, boom, you do 20 times more damage. Another important thing about the fire ultimate is that with the last of skill shows that damage of the enemies within the fairy flame will minus 50%. So basically you make yourself two times tank here. And that is always good. Uh, I forgot to mention, but one thing about the fire motion skill that there is, there could be this um, sub skill which makes your distance, your Firefox run longer. Make you need to try to make that sub skill as low as possible because the longer it takes, that you do, uh, take it longer to generate fairy flame, and you don't want that. Instead, you want this Firefox to disappear very fast, and. Uh, so that you can reapply the fairy flames as fast as possible. So yeah, basically with fire motion skill, fire ultimate, you, you don't even need it to be honest. Many times you don't really need it. And a fire secret menu, this you need. You are basically good to go. You don't you can equip whatever martial or special skills you want. And just with these three sets, you are boom, you have twenty times more damage. That's how fire works. And, but as you know that this way, it will only apply five seconds in order to make, you know, you can refresh your fairy flame within the five seconds. You also need to make your motion skill cooldown very low. And the natural cooldown is 13 seconds. You can have this minus three seconds cooldown sub skill from it. I mean, make it 10.3 seconds. And even with the mastery, standard mastery, uh, okay, I'm not using standard one. Actually, I'm using a sword one, and that is important. The standard mastery will have, for example, the 10th sub skill that if a legendary or mystic motion skill is equipped, this skill's cooldown minus 
So minus 25 percent with the 10.3 second will make it eight second ish. And you can there are other ways, but it won't make it less than five seconds. In order to make it even less, you need this a sword mastery, because sword is a special time that it kind it will give you a special sub skill that cooldown or motion skill mi minus 50 percent. And with this, you can reduce your cooldown of your motion skill within like three seconds. And that's how you can infinitely refresh the five seconds time limit and create more and more fairy flame on the ground and boost your damage more and more. The limit of this is actually when you have too many fairy flames on the ground, your computer becomes super laggy. So you cannot apply, you know, you, you cannot apply more fairy flames, more like you try to use your motion skill within this five seconds, but because it becomes so laggy, when the fox landed, you already uh, passed five seconds. And actually, I can just show that how it looks. So, so to showcase this, I have used a mode. I probably will put a link or the description of the mode in the description of this video. But that mode, what does it do? It allows it to show how many layers of fairy slams it's on the ground that amplifies your damage which is pretty handy so i'm using my out now where is fox yes this is phoenix coming on and you can see there are 15 16 17 18 19 19 layers free play. now i use my motion skill 41 layer and right now i'm using my uh special skill which can continue to apply more but just to let you see that I'm now around like 80 layers. Now I have 122 layers of area and my computer already becomes super quite laggy. Yeah, around this point it's already really hard for me to play anymore. But that is how it goes. Anyway, I'm quitting this. So, with the three things, you are become quite powerful. And it will work with any set. And that's why you see all these videos I have in my channel about Fire Sword and Fire Fist, etc. But now, let's go to the second part of this video, just to describe, to, dis to dis showcase you different fire spiritual skill and special skills. So, actually pure fire build so what i was talking about before is like fire but not fire builds but this is actual fire build so fire just like any other elements they have you can either have a buff so bur or debuff the so buff you apply to yourself is burning soul so each you can see on the right side that each burning layer of burning soul will increase your own damage by one percent it's not that useful but you know as just like everything else, it's more about how does it work with, with your special skills. Similarly, the debuff is called Scorch, and the Scorch will basically allows your target to receive 10, second, 10 per second fire damage. Again, nothing. And we have three different types of martial, oh, sorry, spiritual skills. So the first one is Firebolt, and it is the one you see just now, basically it shoots out multiple Firebolts. It is weak in the beginning, but just like many other spiritual skills, as the game progress, you have you are in the higher realm, you shoot out much more number of fireballs, and it becomes much more better. So end game, basically, you always use fireball. Then you have this something called cloud fire, uh, sorry, fire flare, and this is a funny one because I can show you. So it is a kind of Thing which is basically continuous. Uh, so basically, you can see it shoots out this fire flame again because I am at transcendence, so I have two reborn bursts. I'm shooting out two fire flames, but otherwise, you should do out one flame. And it will continue shooting out, so increasing the speed, you know, doesn't really work with this one. Now, because it does damage per second, that's how it works. And the third one, which is this 
uh, fierce fire, and it's basically a sterile fireball. Yeah, it's actually quite good early game. It's like a lightning whip, but late game becomes less useful. Yeah, that's how it works. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Now let's go to special skills. And as usual, we have six special skills. Three works with burning soul. Three works work with scorch. The first one, you I think this is the one you learn from the very beginning. It's called ground fire. It is the only fire special skill that is not continuous cast. Basically, it's a standard skill that you just click your mouse right button key and then it will just cast it. And it works with scotch, so basically for every stack of scotch detonated an enemy, a fairy flame can be generated. So yeah, many of these fire special skills can also generate uh, fairy flames and this is good because it allows you to refresh how many layers of fairy flames on the ground. So I think you can find all of those this special skills on the my fire build showcase video but it's good to just do it again yeah this is how it works just a one-time thing and you see that now on the target there are like eight ten layers of scorch I'm using this because we start to de detonate all kind of uh, scorch on the, on the target and it generates this fairy, uh, fairy flames just below it all right the second type of special skill is um, oh, okay, Fire Sorrow. This is, I will use this as example. It shows that the continuous skill. So what does continuous skill mean? Basically you have to press and hold your mouse button to continue to cast this skill. So the duration of this skill is around like 2 seconds. But every single continuous skill, you can extend the duration. And for every 1 second extension, you will be weakened after the when, when you finish this skill and what does weakened mean basically weakened means that when you are in this weakened state your damage will be less 20 percent less and you go much slower so you add your speed will be minus 30 percent so all of this all of this you can find it on the right side if you put your mouse on you know hook your mouse on one of the skills on the right side you expand everything so make sure you read those descriptions, it's actually quite helpful. Now, so for this kind of continuous skills, you many times you will find some sub skills that which allows you to extend how long time it durates. And for example, this one, uh, it doesn't really have anything, <laughs> but yeah, and. Another point is, so here the natural time of extended duration is around 3 seconds and you can think you can find sub skills which allows you to extend this even longer. And to do that, pre mm -hmm. let's see, so I'm using the sword mastery, okay, let me change my divine power to fire, yes, so fire divine power can allow you to, to extend your duration of your continuous skill 3 seconds more as you can see from the last uh, two sub skills and also it will allow you to basically minus 100% of your speed reduction when you are in the weakened state so basically if you want to continuously use a continuous uh, skill basically you want to make it continuously cutting it, you probably want to use a fire D1 power. And let me see what does fire um, mastery do. No, it doesn't have anything special. Okay. So yeah, and starting from fire solo and everything else, so sunfire, sing for flame, fire ring and fire rider, all of them are continuous skill. And basically, you want to keep your mouse pressed down to continuous casting. It. And all right, let's just showcase it again. So, Fire Sorrow is actually pretty good early game and late game as well. So, when I'm using it, it drops all this fire from the ground, from the sky to the ground. 
and uh, yeah. So what is this skill actually works with better with uh, burning souls? So I'm using the wrong martial skill. I'm really sorry about that. So I need to use a burning soul one. So this will apply burning soul to myself. And try to, try to see what's the difference when I'm using a burning soul one. I'm still attacking it. I'm using this. And now because I have burning souls, this allows it to generate fairy flames on the ground, as you can probably see. So I have like on the on the lower you can also see that there are like more than 50, so now 60 layers of fairy flames on the ground. So the DPS on the top top right is keep continuous increasing. This is because I have more fairy flames. And if I use my out, use my motion skill to generate more fairy flames and try to cut it again. So with much more layers of fairy flames, my DPS just continues to increase. Now it's more than 1 million. And yeah, the problem of this again, it's become super laggy. A third type of special skill of fire is Sunfire. And this works with Scotch. So this. And what does it do? It's basically it allows when I'm again when I'm continuously using it, you see there's this aura around myself. And this allows you it to have a explosion just on the nearby targets. And if the targets have you know scorch on it, it will also generate fairy flames on its on the ground. So it's also pretty good as long as you're continuously attacking and applying scorch on the target. You can have pretty good damage as well. Now the fourth one. Is Sinful Flame. So this one is a bit different. It works with Burning Soul. So let me switch back to Burning Soul. Yeah, correct. But it does not really generate any fa uh, Fairy Flames based on Burning Soul. Instead, for number of Burning Souls, it will continue duration of this skill. So basically it's you can continuously cast it this skill. But it doesn't really create any fairy flames, so it's not that great. Oh but one special thing about this one is that it does have this uh sub skill beginning in the end that for the duration of this continuous skill, your damage taken is minus fifty percent. So it does make you even more tankier. But this comes with a uh, drawback. It's actually more like you because of this drawback they need to add this sub skill so what it does it do you can see i'm using basically using this and a giant fire is coming out from me the point is if i move it's very slow for this giant flame coming out of me to move with me so the best way to use this skill is that you have to stand still obviously in this way you really need this you know, damage reduction to make it more viable. And another thing about this skill that it shows that if this cast when you have at least eight stack of burning souls, this is the ninth sub skill, you additionally shoot out eight fireballs at the surroundings. So that's why you probably want to. These are the burning souls. You want to use this skill where you are have you know, more layers of burning so and this way you are shoot out more fireballs and create more damage. And the next one is actually quite good one, which is one I pretty recommend during the progression is fire ring. It's a standard, basically you generate fire rings around you and again it works with scotch. So you want a scotch uh, spiritual skill, but good thing about this, if you go to the last uh, sub skill here, for the duration of the continuous skill, for every 150 movement distance, a fairy flame can be generated. So basically, as long as you are using this skill and you are moving around, you can generate fairy flames, which makes it quite powerful. Let's use this in this, and I'm holding down and walking around 
and you can see that I'm continuous generating a fire ring around me and the damage is pretty high so I'm already dealing 1.6 times of DPS with 80 layers of fairy flames and because this is a uh, area damage so you are dealing with much bigger area so now I have 2 million damage per second and the last um, special skill fire works very similar to this one which is fire rider and this works with again burning soul so what does it do it's very similar to the fire ring so basically you create this fireball around you and every time you move around when continuously using the skill you can generate fairy flames on your ground which means again you can use this skill to continuously apply more and more fairy flames on the ground the difference is that the area of damage of this is much smaller compared to the fire ring but it does have this advantage that it will block all the projectiles and so which makes you much safer and to be honest many of the builds initially if you find yourself unsafe you can try to just use a fire rider right a uh, special skill and use the fire secret menu so that you get damage boost from fairy flames and you hold this thing you go around you see that around myself there is this ball so this allows me to block all the projectiles and you need to walk around so that you are fast you are applying the fairy flames on the ground the problem is obviously the damage area is much smaller compared to fairy fire ring so it's not that easy to to use because a thing about this like you want yourself to move really fast because the number of fairy flames is depending on how much movement distance you you do so which means you are moving as long as you are moving faster you are applying more fairy flames and this is why you want to increase your speed a lot but if you are too fast it's very hard to be really close to the enemy and dealing with damage with this you know skill so many times you probably won't just you know apply enough fairy flames on the ground like here I'm I'm walking around this thing and let's say I'll say I'm happy with you know 70 layer flame and just stop and just continue to deal damage this way for five seconds it probably works even better and that's the all six special skills of fire and to be honest they might have several tiny difference between their DPS but it's not much especially in the game fire is this kind of build that your damage is just too much and you don't really feel much difference and that's for most of the game bosses and because fire is so powerful so around like two big patches ago when they introduced the two the two highest realms so reborn and transcendent they also introduced a lot of enemies which have this mechanism that they have a damage limit so maximum one time damage you can apply to it is limited I mean one infamous example is the King Lu Hua the Chicken King and Suan Yu from the Fallen Alley not only actually not only those two those two are most easily noticeable because the damage limit is around 5000 which is really tiny when you can do millions of damage but even many other immortals also have a damage limit for example the Quan Wu immortal the sword immortal you cannot you know one shot him just because there's damage limit there and to be honest this damage limit mechanism is quite bad game design in my opinion but it was and it was introduced solely because fire is so powerful and because using a fire fist you basically one shot all the bosses in this game and back then there is also which is not really bug it's a mechanism you can use so there is a certain uh, rewrite destiny which allows you to deal 30 percent life of your the, the damage which equivalent to 30 percent of the life of your enemy when you are going to die and i think it's something called the world together and this 30 percent life of damage can be amplified by the fire and you know what does that mean basically you just apply a bunch of fairy flames on the ground 
when it's more than let's say 20 fairy flames and you just let the boss kill you and as when you are getting killed at the one last second yourself get invincible and that fate allows you to deal 30% of your enemy's damage and that 30% multiply by 5 times because you have fairy flames on the ground will one shot the enemy and yeah with that build you basically have no difficult difficulties in the entire game I think that's one of the reasons why they applied this damage limit thing, but as I said, there are better ways to deal with it. And damage limit is just a lazy and not that great way of the game design. And I hope the game developers can change this at some point. Because right now, you, fire builds have this problem that you are easily dealing with all most of the uh, enemies in the game. But when you're against King Lu Hua, it's just so painful. Not only not because you can't deal with it, but just too slow. And especially when you apply more damage, when you when the battle lasts longer, when there are too many fairy flames on the ground, your computer becomes laggy and just not fun anymore. And what else I want to show here? Yeah, the ultimate. So for fires, basically you always want to use Phoenix. Not only it will apply fairy flames, but also it allows you the damp to re make the damage of the enemies 50% lower. So it's really good. But initially you may, might want to use fire core as well. It actually generates a pretty good uh, damage early game. And it's very easy to, to trigger as well. Uh, right now I have the ultimate, uh, the fate to allow me to use the ultimate. So I don't need to, to uh, have the preconditions, but it generates, it summons this thing and deal the damage all the time. And this is actually considered as summon subject. You know what does that mean? This means that you can use a uh, wood mastery. So, wood mastery have this sub skill which will increase or summon the unit 70% more damage. So, if you're using this ultimate, you might want to use a wood mastery to go with it. And the precondition of this is just to, you know, to use continuous skill and kill enemies. For kill four enemies, it's really easy to fulfill. So basically, when you do not have a, a combat expertise, you can use this as your ultimate. And just use any fire special skill, you will be good. And in the end, I want to talk about the set effects. So there are two set effects in at Transcendent. One is Singing Phoenix. So this basically makes your Sinful Flame better. So Sinful Flame is the one you shoot out one giant, you know, flame breeze. Basically, two set with already allow you to count, no, there's no time limit. So basically, to extend you, so you can using this continuously using this skill all the time, and the longer it used, it will you know, deal 5% uh, makes you consume 5% your HP, but it will increase the damage to make it more powerful. And with this, you can, you, yeah, you can do a lot of damage. Let me show this. Um, to, no, not to you, to this guy. And no, I'm not going to deal with the King Du Hua because he has damage limit. Uh, what I want to do is, is the Spear Immortal, the one with super high damage but not much HP. Alright. Mm. Simple Flame, yes. Okay, and I want to use a Phoenix one. Wait a minute, am I using the correct Burning Soul one? Yeah, that's correct. Ninety percent. I am continue using it, and within few seconds, he's done. Nine seconds. I mean, that's how fireworks, fire views in general works. And. What is, yeah, the fourth set effect, basically when you finish a thing for flame, you recover the HP. But, you know, in chaos mode, in order to use, like, a continuous skill, you probably should 
have blood power all the time. Yeah, which allows you to recover HP by dealing damage. So not for that is not super useful. And in fact, I would recommend you to always use a fist divine power because that makes your crit damage rate much higher. And you probably won't use sword mastery, you know, as well. Now, the second the second uh, set effect is Pyromancer. This basically makes your fire sorrow better. And also, so two set effect is when every time you fire flare, deal crit damage, it gen so it makes your fire uh, sorrow generation with the flames dropping from the sky faster. And four set is again reduce the cooldown. So it looks like you want to use this set effect with fire flare, you know. But it's not really necessary to use this. I mean, I can show show you that how to use. Uh, let's just do it again. <laughs> so it is quite powerful. Still. But, so, it takes actually 11 seconds when I'm using Fire Flare. It's probably faster if I'm just simply using a Fire Bolt. Because the, the fact that it reduces the frequency, it re reduces the, the time difference between your Fire Sword of Dropping Flame is not that important. Now I'm just using the simple one, and I'm using the same way, and it takes 8 seconds. So even though this side effect tells you, oh, you should use Fire uh, fire Flare, but don't use it, just use Fire Bolt. And it doesn't does make your Fire Thrower better, but as I said, Fire Bolt, the power came from Fairy Flames. And the uh, side effect is not super important. To be honest, it, they, they didn't really, you know, solve the problem that fire builds have, which is you are missing the frequency of damage. You need to have more frequent damage in order to deal with targets with uh, damage limit like King Duhua. And all the set effect doesn't this solve this problem. So fire builds are still stuck in the situation that you kill with all the enemies easily, but you cannot deal with enemies with damage limit but still at this point you just most of people just simply use fire motion fire out and fire secret menu with some other builds that's why you, you probably very hardly find any dedicated fire build but yeah that's how it works and let's wish the development team will make it seem better and i want to i mean if i have a better computer I would like to show you that by just applying many different layers of fairy flames with around 300 layers, you can, with sword in heavenly skill, you can one shot three mortals with maybe around 200 layers of fairy flames with, uh, you know, a fist, proper fist build with, you know, kill breaker fist. You can one shot fifth layer of Swan Yu. But my computer is not allowing me doing that simply because with around like 100 layers of fairy flames on the ground, my camera becomes so laggy. I cannot apply more fairy flames anymore. But just to let you know, those can be done. And yes, sword on immortal skill, it is the thing to make you be able to break the damage limit. So if you have better computer, use this sword heavenly art with your fairy flame. Makes you much easier to deal with you know, three models, etc. All right, and I think that's about it. And just a small note, the fire damage amplification, as I mentioned before, it works with heavenly skill, but it also works with true damage applied by the palm. And which makes means that you can use this to uh, defeat much higher realm NPCs. And I will probably show that in a separate video. And uh, alright, I think that is about it. 
So thank you for watching this video, and I hope after watching this video, you understand how fireworks, and it will help you progress through your chaos playthrough much easily when you just simply use a fire secret menu, fire motion skill. You don't even need to use fire phoenix when you don't have the combat expertise. All right, thank you very much. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot, totally forgot. Normally, people would like to ask what kind of uh, what do you call um, rewrite destinies you use, but as I mentioned before, you don't really need some special rewrite destinies. You won't use comeback expertise to allow you to cast the ultimates from the very beginning, and you probably want blood power because you know you are very close to the enemy. You need to recover your HP, but other than that, you don't need anything. You all like. Conceal Nerara, which gives you 15% max damage, receive the limit, and uh, also, yeah, Murderous Rise, which pays you, pays you to guarantee crit. These are general good faith. You always want them. Apart from that, you don't need special things like martial art uh, specification or blood energy or I don't know spirit fusion to make fire work. You don't need those things. And if you are using a fire rider. A fire rider build or a fire ring, because how these two skill generate fairy flames is depending on how much movement you do, which makes you probably want to increase your、uh, your speed. And in those case, a good a good fate is no trace left in snow, which allows you to increase twenty percent of speed. And in general, it is a really good fate, in a, especially at the early game, because the faster you move, you easier for you to dodge all kind of projectiles. And also give you a shield every second, ten seconds. And if you are you taking this one, you probably also want to take、um, yeah, cloud piercing lightning because this allows you to increase thirty percent of damage based on how much speed you have. And I also recommend to take rolling ward. Basically, allows you to decrease another sixty percent of the damage of your enemies. This combined with the fact you have your ultimate. Make them deal with, you know, 50% less damage in the fairy flames. So this makes you more much tankier. And one final thing I recommend at kind of end game because you can only get it at end game is fire star. Basically, it allows you to shoot out fireballs when you're casting continuous skills. And this is only useful you when you are using a pure fire build, which means you use all these continuous cast special skills. And other than that, you, it's not really that useful.、Mm, yeah, always someone better is again a general good fate. Basically, allows you to increase thirty percent your damage and minus twenty percent of damage taken、so、again, even more tank you. And for fire views, I don't think you care. You care about your birds. Phoenix is generally a good one because when you cast your laser power, it does not. Replace your, you know, martial skills so you can continue attacking. And I do recommend Go Chen So because you will be lack of MP. And if you look at the fifth layer effect from Go Chen So, it allows you to absorb two percent of your enemy's maximum energy because all enemy in this game have infinite energy, so MP. So basically, this allows you to have infinite MP. And what else are there? Right, Dalfield. I'm here showing three fire, but three sword are generally good. Just use blindly take three sword.、Uh, that's my suggestion. So three fire is some have some interesting thing because basically, it if when you receive damage, if you increase your own dam, uh, when you receive damage, when you take damage, it will increase your damage you deal with. So it can. I chose this because I want to know if it works with the fact that,、uh, sorry, Cinephonix, because Cinephonix will allow you to consume five percent of your own, your own HP. So I, I think this consider counts as part of taking damage. So with the fire aura makes it allows you to have higher damage. But again, when you are using fire build, you have so much damage you kill the. Spirit mode in eight seconds. Is it really worth it to increase more damage? 
or you instead you maybe want something else. So, and because you need to use tower power to use the rule field, so in general I don't really use rule field that much. But I hope that answers all the questions. And now just sorry for not really organizing this video that well, but I hope this is uh, the true end of this video. And uh, finally, thank you for watching this video. And if you found this helpful for your playthrough of this game, Tale of Immortal, please leave a like and consider to subscribe. And let me know what other builds you want to hear about next time. Alright, bye.